Hello there, I'm Lindsay Malone, and welcome to another edition of Santa Barbara Newswire, right here on Channel 21, which will bring you, the viewer, a healthy dose of local and world current events, as well as satisfy that fix in all that is pop culture. Sporadic street fighting amongst Ethiopian troops and Islamic fighters resulted in 81 Somalian deaths, leaving over 100 wounded in the two days of clashes. The fighting ensued with the hopes of bringing down Somalia's shaky government, where the casualties were caused by Ethiopians using heavy artillery and tank shells in the neighborhoods of the war-torn capital. Sunday's clashes took place in these shell-littered streets, still covered with the uncollected bodies of the dead from the previous day. Naseo Moelem described how tank shells hit her home, killing her seven-year-old daughter and three neighbors. For some Somalians, death is becoming too common of a daily occurrence. This past Sunday, however, the Junior League of Santa Barbara's main focus was on death prevention, hosting a bone marrow registry and blood drive in an effort to increase the number of Latinos in the national registry while also hoping to find a possible donor match for Aaron Montes de Oca, a native from Carpinteria who's currently battling a leukemia-like disorder. On Sunday, participants lined up to fill out paperwork and to receive the needed materials to swab their mouths, where the swabs were then sent to the National Marrow Donor Program to be tested for a hopeful match. Well, that's all for today. Remember to catch new updates of Santa Barbara Newswire every Friday right here on Channel 21. I'm Lindsay Malone, and you stay classy, Santa Barbara.